spoke to you last time about the basic techniques, how it works, you know, um, little piece of advice. I think you need to just practice, pick one up, get your technique happening and it will start to make sense. But the next question that I always ask is, so when you're on a gig, how does it work with a rhythm section? Because generally I do a lot of studio stuff, but I do a lot of live stuff with it. And the key is with this is, you don't mic the keyboard up, you actually mic up the mouth, you mic up the pipe. I spoke a little bit last time about the technique. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Et cetera. So what you need to do is, you need to get a microphone, just standard microphone. Treat the talk box as if it's another singer in the band. That's your approach. So if you're on a gig and there's a lead vocal and two BVs, whatever micing system they're using, you use the same. There's no technical, do you plug into the talk box or is there a special line, etc. So all you're doing is you're putting the mic there and then you are micing up your mouth. Mic goes there. And then you go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One point to mention, which is critical with this um, talk box situation, you know. Obviously, this was an instrument that originally was made famous by guitar players in the 70s, you know. Um, they used to mic up guitars and then play their guitars through it, a la Bon Jovi, Peter Frampton, way back. Ask mummy and daddy, they'll tell you about that stuff, you know. Um, the key with this is, you tend to, because of the nature of the instrument, you know, and playing live, you get excited, what's the first thing you do? Put the pipe in your mouth and you turn the volume up as loud as you can, and then have your microphone not that loud. That is a no-no. What happens if you have it too loud? It's a bit of a no-brainer if you listen. Think dentist chair, vibrations, have it too loud, teeth fall out, not a good look. The key is, remember, low signal on the talk box, as low as possible. You know, it, sh it shouldn't be that loud, your tone, you know? That's not that loud, so you've got a slight vibration. The key is when you get on stage, loud microphone. Make sure that your front of house engineer or your monitor engineer turns your levels up as loud as you physically can. That will ensure that everyone hears what it is, you get good monitoring for yourself, and you remain, your dentures remain in your mouth.